Hello guys, welcome back. Now today, I'm going to be doing my 2020 early NHL mock draft. Although the 2019 draft is right around the corner, there are a lot of fun and interesting prospects heading into the 2020 draft. And in this video, I'll be detailing 10 prospects that I think are the best heading into 2020. And yes, I do get it that we're pretty much a year and a half away from the 2020 draft, but it's never too early to do prospect rankings. Now we're going to start out the top 10 with Marco Rossi. Uh, he is a center in the OHL. He's an Austrian-born player, which is pretty unique. So one of the more unique players throughout this top 10. He's at age 17. He's one of the more older players in this top 10. He's 5'9 and 179 pounds. Now, so far this season with the Ottawa 67s, he's played 25 games, he's gotten 13 goals, 17 assists for 30 points, an amazing production rate, and he was injured for about a month and a half, and that's why he's going to have less games played than some of the other OHL players in this list, is because he didn't play as many of them. But in the games that he did play, he was absolutely phenomenal, and as a rookie in the OHL, I'm pretty sure he's been lighting up that league and really making a case to be one of the best 2020 prospects. But again, being from Austria, it really is a pretty unique player that we have here. You don't get to see a lot of highly picked Austrian players, let alone Austrian players in the draft. So seeing Marco Rossi really perform and really prove himself, and of course being in my top 10 in this video, it really is special to see a place like Austria develop a talent like that. And they don't usually have a lot of hockey players in their systems, but Marco Rossi has been making a big impression this season. Next up at number 9, I have Antonio Stranges. He is a center-slash-left winger in the OHL. He's an American, I think the only American in this top 10. Uh, he's an age 16 player, 5'10", 180 pounds. With the London Knights, he's been playing it very, very well so far this season. Now, so far with the London Knights, as a 16-year-old, Estranges has put up, or he's played 36 games, has gotten 7 goals, 17 assists for 24 points, and while the London Knights are a very, very solid team, they got a lot of options to help Stranges when it comes to the offensive side, he is still a 16-year-old, and to put up those numbers as a 16-year-old is very, very impressive, and he is the only American in this top 10, it doesn't seem like this is a very good draft for the Americans, so Stranges is really leading the pack there, but he's been playing really, really well so far in the OHL and I see that continuing for him, and next year, who knows what his production is like. Heading on over to number 8, I have Lucas Raymond. He is a right winger slash left winger in the Super Elite League. He's a Swedish player at age 16. He's 5'10", 165 pounds, and when it comes to Swedish players, this is a pretty solid draft, but Raymond is one of the top guys, and for a very good reason. Now, so far this season, Raymond has played in the SHL and the Super Elite League, and he's been very, very impressive in both leagues. So far in the Super Elite League, he's played 23 games, has gotten 10 goals and 19 assists for 29 points. And in the SHL, as a 16-year-old, he was able to play 7 games and get 2 goals for himself, which is not bad at all. For a 16-year-old, that's pretty much as good as you can get. You don't see a lot of 16-year-olds playing in the SHL, but Raymond was able to get it done and to play relatively well while he was up there. Now, for me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Lucas Raymond. I do think he has solid upside and solid skill. I'm just not the biggest fan of him, but I can't deny the numbers that he's put up so far, and to be in the SHL as a 16-year-old is not a lot, it's not, a lot of, not a lot of players are able to do that and to get that feat, and he was able to play decently while he was up there, which, big credit to him, he was able to do that. And even then, he's played very, very well in the Super Elite League this season. He's really made a name for himself as well, and this draft is looking pretty solid for Swedish players, and Raymond is one of the reasons why. Next up, heading on to number 7, I have Cole Perfetti. He is a center in the OHL. He's Canadian at age 17. He's 5'10 and 185 pounds. And I didn't even know the guy before I was researching this video, but he's been an absolute stud in the OHL this season. Now, so far this season in the OHL with the Saginaw Spirit, he's been able to play 36 games, getting 16 goals, 18 assists for 34 points. And in the OHL as a 17-year-old, that is very, very impressive. And as a 2020 prospect, he is definitely making a name for himself. And I didn't even realize he was a player. I didn't really think he was on the face of the earth, but he's been playing amazing so far in the OHL, and I'm glad to learn of him, of course. And so far in the World Hockey Ch Challenge, he played five games, had two goals, seven assists for nine points, which is 
very, very good also. And he's been making, making a name for himself for how well he's been playing in the OHL and how well he's been playing against that great competition. Now, while Saginaw is a very solid OHL team, right now they're fifth in the OHL. They've been playing good as a team, but I think a lot of it has to do with Perfetti and how well he's played this season. Again, as a 17-year-old, that is very impressive numbers, and as a year, as a prospect who the year, draft year is after the season, it really does go to show how well he's been playing, and honestly, I can't wait to see how well he plays next season, because he's already putting up the point totals this season, so really when it comes to next season, it could be scary good. Now, heading on to number six, I have Noel Gundler. He is a right winger slash left winger in the Super Elite League. He's Swedish at age 17. He's six foot one, 176 pounds, and he's also been transitioning from the SHL and the Super Elite League, but he's played fantastic in both. Now, so far in the Super Elite League, he has played 24 games, getting 19 goals, 15 assists for 34 points. Definitely impressive there, but he got a pretty strong stint in the SHL. He played 10 games, got, getting one goal, three assists for four points. And to play 10 games in the SHL as a 17-year-old is very, very impressive. Now, he is one of the more older 17-year-olds, so he, there is a little bit more of an asterisk there. So he probably is more in line with the 2019 draft, but still, as a 2020 prospect, he's playing very, very well, and to see him play so well in the Super League League and the SHL just, stro just shows how strong he is as a prospect. But Gunler has quickly become one of my favorite prospects in this draft. I love his shot, I love his skill, and his talent level is through the roof. And even though he's one of the more older 2020 prospects, I still think he has a lot of talent, and he's going to show that this year, and he's also going to show it in his draft year. Heading on into the number five spots, I have Jamie Drysdale. He is a defenseman, the only defenseman in this top 10, by the way. He's in the OHL. He's Canadian at age 16, 5'11", 165 pounds. And so far in the OHL, he's been outproducing some of the forward prospects in this draft. But as a defenseman, he's been very, very impressive. Now, keep in mind, Drysdale is defenseman on the Erie Otters, the Erie Otters being the third worst team in the entire OHL, but he's been able to outproduce a lot of great prospects in the 2020 draft when it comes to the OHL, and so far with the Erie Otters in the 18-19 season, he's played 35 games, he's gotten 3 goals, 21 assists for 24 points on the season, and with the Erie Otters being the third worst team in the, NHL, or in the OHL, it definitely speaks to how offensive and brilliant he's been so far this season. Now, in the World Hockey Challenge, about a few months ago, he got, he played five games, got four assists for four points, and that's also pretty solid, but the OHL stats are really what speaks to you, really what drives a Drysdale's home point across. And with the OHL numbers, while Erie might not be the greatest team, Drysdale's been able to really outperform a lot of his teammates, outperform a lot of his opponents, and as a defenseman, 24 points in 35 games would be fantastic for a defenseman in his draft year. But with Drysdale, of course, being a 2020 prospect and being 16 years of age, it shows how impressive he's been offensively. Heading on over to number four, and at number four, I have Quinton Byfield. He is a center in the OHL, one of the more well-known prospects in the 2020 draft, but he, of course, a Canadian at age 16. He has a six foot four frame, 214 pounds. He's a big man at age 16. He's been doing a lot of that, and so far with the Sudbury Wolves, he's just been straight incredible for how young he is. Now, so far with the Wolves of the OHL, he's played 36 games. He's gotten 15 goals, 16 assists for 31 points. In the World Hockey Challenge, he played five games, had two goals, and one assist for three points. But with Quentin Byfield, he has one of the best talents. He's one of the best talents in this 2020 draft. Some people have him as high as number two in this draft, and a lot of people are high on him. I am pretty high on Byfield. I'm not the biggest fan of him, but he is one of the better prospects, I would say, in this draft. And of course, at number four, he's been very, very impressive this season with the Sudbury Wolves, and of course, this Subbury Wolves are a pretty decent team in the OHL, and I think he's been a big reason why. And as I said before, Byfield has been one of the more high-profile players in this 2020 draft, and we've seen a lot of hype coming around his name, and deservedly so, because he's been playing very, very well so far in the OHL, racking up those points, but he's also a very well-rounded player. He has a lot of talent offensively, and while the hype is there for Quentin Byfield, I do think he's deserved it up to this point. 
Heading on into the top three, and at number three, I have Alexander Holtz. He is a right winger slash left winger in the Super Elite League. He's with the Azure Gardens in the Super Elite League, and so far, he has played 23 games, getting 19 goals, 10 assists for 29 points. Uh, in the World Hockey Challenge, he played six games, had four goals, four assists for a solid eight points. And Holtz is, I'm going to say this right now, my favorite prospect in the 2020 draft. And from what I've seen from him, he is super, super talented. He has all the skills necessary to compete, of course, in the Super League League, in the SHL, and wherever he wants to go, of course, the NHL will probably be the best place. But Holtz, honestly, is one of my favorites in the draft. I love his, per I love just his style of work. I love his body of play, and of course, how he actually plays the game, how he thinks the game is bar none. I think he's one of the more impressive and talented players in this 2020 draft. And some people might disagree with me. I mean, he's tied with points with Raymond, who is at number eight. But I think Holtz just has a little more talent than him. And, of course, has more talent than all the other prospects in this list. And while, of course, he's not number one and number two, I think he definitely deserves to be at least the top five for the skills he's shown so far. And, of course, what he plays like in his draft year is really going to tell how good he is. But so far, he has impressed me a lot. Heading on into number two, and at number two, I have Anton Lundell. He is a center slash left winger in the Liga. He's a Finnish player at age 17. He has six foot one, one frame. He's 183 pounds. And although Holtz is my favorite prospect in 2020, Lundell is a clear cut number two. Now, so far, Lundell has played in the Liga, the Junior A Liga, and of course, the World Junior Championships this season, and he's been super, super impressive in all three. We're going to start in the Liga, where he's played 20 games so far this season, getting four goals, six assists for 10 points, and as a 17-year-old that has their draft the next year, playing that well and getting that many points in the Liga is certainly, certainly impressive. In the Junior A Liga, he played nine games, getting five goals, six assists for 11 points, which is pretty, pretty solid, and of course, the World Junior Championships championships where I think he proved himself to be an absolute star with Team Finland playing seven games, getting one goal, three assists for four points. And those points are very solid, but I think he was one of the best forwards for Team Finland throughout that whole tournament. Now, he's kind of in the same situation as a uh, Noel Gundler in the sense that he is a pretty old player in this 2020 draft. He was, I think, a few months or a few months uh, younger than from qualifying from the 2019 draft. So he's one of the older players in this 2020 draft, but he's been proving himself to be an absolute elite prospect nonetheless. And in the World Juniors, I was already a pretty big fan of Lindell before that, but in the World Juniors, he was absolutely amazing, I thought. He was all over the ice defensively. He was solid offensively. He was right there, made a lot of chances for Team Finland. And while Team Finland in the start of the tournament kind of worried me a little bit, Lundell was honestly one of the better players throughout that whole tournament and consistently good, which also surprised me. And playing in the World Juniors is already impressive for a lot of prospects in their draft year, but being a, a World Junior player in the year before your draft year is even more impressive. And for a team like Team Finland, who has a lot of offensive options, Lundell was able to come in there, get the roster spot, play well, and be one of the better forwards for Team Finland throughout that whole tournament, which impressed me so much that I wished I could put him number one, but we all know that there's a clear-cut number one here. And at number one in my early 2020 NHL mock draft, I have Alexi Lafreniere. And he, of course, he's a left winger in the QMJHL. You guys already know the whole deal, but Alexis Lafreniere has had all the hype behind him, all the hype in the world, and it has been pretty deserved at this point. So far, of course, he's Canadian at age 17, a six foot one player, 192 pounds. And in the QMJHL, I think unbelievable would just be a little bit of an understatement. So far with the Romanewski Oceanic, he's played 35 games, got 19 goals, 41 assists for 60 points. And that is amazing for a player in the draft year. But again, having Alexi Lafreniere as the 2020 prospect and having this year be his year before his draft year just makes this so much more impressive. And I'm pretty sure at one point throughout that season, he was leading the entire QMJHL at p in points, which while he is one of the more y older players in this 2020 draft, that is still very, very impressive for a player that qualifies for the next year after this season. 
And let's just say Alexi Lafreniere was eligible for the 2019 draft. I think he would be top three at least for what he's done so far. And in the QMJHL, he's been so, so impressive. And even if he would qualify for the 2019 draft, he could make the case to be the number one overall pick. But in the 2020 draft, while I like guys like Holtz, while I like guys like Lundell, Alexi Lafreniere has that generational hype behind him. And so far in the QMJHL, he has not disappointed one bit. Now, of course, he was with Team Canada in the World Junior Championships. He ended up playing five games, getting one goal for one assist, or for getting one goal for one point. And that was pretty lackluster, even though he was a guy that would be in the 2020 draft. I was expecting just a little bit more from him, I would say. But even then, he was still able to get on the roster for a 2020 prospect. That is certainly, certainly impressive. And being so good in the QMJHL, being so good and having all that hype around him, you'd think that the pressure would kind of buckle on him a little bit. And we saw that a little bit in the World Juniors, but so far in the QMJHL, he's been taking that to heart and he's been playing so so well so so impressively and so so consistently which for a player in the 2020 draft again is just unbelievably impressive but again, while Holtz and Lundell may, might be my number one and number two of your prospects in this draft, I cannot deny the fact that Lafreniere has that generational hype behind him, and deservedly so, because he's just been tearing it up in the QMJHL. And while, again, I like those two prospects behind him, I don't think you can make an argument to have Lafreniere other than number one. But again, while the 2020 NHL draft is still a year and a half out, we have a lot of interesting players and a lot of interesting performers in this draft. And this 2020 draft is looking a lot more strong than the 2019 one. While the 2019 one might be pretty decent, this 2020 NHL draft is looking absolutely amazing. And I honestly cannot wait for it because guys like Lafreniere, Lundell, Holtz, they all make me so, so excited to see them in the NHL in the future. But of course, with this video, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So, let me know, what do you think of my top 10 in the 2020 draft? Who are your favorite prospects? Who are your least favorite prospects? Who do you rank highly? And of course, what are your top 10 prospects in the 2020 NHL draft? But if you guys want some more grab videos, you can watch this video where I drew my January 2019 NHL mock draft. But that is going it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And comment down below your thoughts on this 2020 draft and your mock draft as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.